Perhaps. What the? Today we're going to be playing Fears to Fathom Carson House. I heard that this is probably one of the most scariest out of all the four episodes that uh, we're going to be playing on the channel. And if you guys want to see episode two, go ahead and let me know in the comments. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Fears to Fathom, episode three, Carson House, September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28 year old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over the house. The man worked as a COO at a local media company. Dad told me that the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going on for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. So we just start at a laundry lot for some reason. That's really weird. Um, okay, well, what do we do? Like, finish our laundry or something? I guess we could explore a little bit. Where is our laundry? Okay, well, maybe... Can I play this? Nope. Okay, let's check here. Oh. What about this exit? Private. Okay, yeah, we can definitely go down here. It's kind of creepy, I mean... Okay. What is this, like, laundry hell? What? Shift to sprint. Okay, so these are like the same case of equipment failure. So what do we do? Just run? I'm just gonna run. I wonder if the game volume's too loud. Bleach? What? Where do you put it? What is this place? Where is the bleach? I need the bleach. What even is this place? Who are you? I said I need bleach. Noah. Noah. Nap time's over, we're here. We're here, you said you could do this. Wake up, no, wake up, no, wake up! How long did I doze off for? Doesn't matter, can you do this? Roy called and said the key should be under the fake rock, got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the doors for anyone. So I guess we gotta find the rock that's... in the back, I guess? Okay, let's do that. A lot of rock. Oh, we have a dog. Let's pet pet you. Oh. What's this? Oh, there we go. Big rock. Key. I had to pee. Okay, where's our bathroom? Oh, nice. A little peepee there. This house looks familiar for some reason. Looks like I've been here before. One text message from an unknown number. Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. I also got a message from Evelyn Cooper. I'm honestly jealous. Rolling on the floor laughing. Okay, another message from 513. My bad, it's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Ha ha. He's my dad. All right, let's explore. Don't enter. We're, we're here. So apparently, this guy's like a famous media guy. Famous media producer? Okay, Roy. I would have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zika. Ziki? Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him in the house. Now that I'm here, you could you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. Okay. So 
So that's cool. There's a bathroom here. Let's close that. That's the kitchen. Three messages from Roy. You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I wanted to remind you that it's his dinner time. If you could get his food from the basement. Right on. Is this the basement? Yes, it is. What the hell is it? I don't see anything. Oh, here we go. Almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. It's no problem. Okay, problem solved. And then that's it. Storage room. I think this was the storage room, right? And then right here. Okay. Should be a piece of cake now. All right, let me just close this. Sorry guys, also I've been a little bit sick. That's why I haven't been uploading uh, for a while. Usually I try to upload every like three days. But it's been five now. It's because I've been sick. I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but... Mm, yeah, it's been a little hard. Anyways, here you go. That's a port in the bowl. I have to open the can. Uh, Alright. There we go. Sweet. Here you go, Roy. Have fun eating that, alright? Can take that too, you know? Right there. Uh, right in your face. Sorry. Let's clean it in the... Just pull up water? Oh, it does. Roy, three messages. Hey kid, I heard from Walter you're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately, and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah, you got a whole security system up there? Yeah, so I think that's up in, upstairs in his room. So maybe we go there and figure it out. One message from Roy. I have a lot of expensive equipment laying around. Don't want anything happening to it. Okay. It's very precautious. Roy again. Thanks, kid. Okay. So, apparently there's something wrong with the computer. Oh, crap. Do I have a password? Okay. Is he, is he gonna give me a password to this? There it is. Ale Carson five three eight two. So Ale Carson five three eight two. What? Hail Carson 5382. Bro. Hail Carson 5382. Are you shitting me? 5387. Fucking dumbass. All right. <laughs> Mail. Car sent five three eight seven. Dude, I swear to God, I'm gonna rip someone's face. Ale. Oh my God. Ale. Car sent five three eight two. Dude. Seven. There we go. Free trial for a limited period. Get full protection. Download this antivirus. There we go. Probably exactly what this computer needs. Let's do a full scan. Security threat Trojan. Remove. Great. You're all set now, dude. Got that security. Nice. 
That is crazy. So the front door, I left it open. Fortunately. Everything looks good. Roy, one message. It's just a Trojan. I'd recommend you download softwares from trusted websites. Tell that to my kid. But thanks, I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. That's what she said. <laughs> Just had the weirdest dream ever. What was it about? Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on channel 10. By the way, the rerun must be on right now. We gotta watch it. Okay. So my friend seems to have me wanting to watch television. Don't know why. This game is too busy. Can we get up? I don't want to watch this. It's so weird. Like a baby suckling upon a mother's bosom. Oh, lucky baby. Okay, now while that's cooking. Jeffrey Lee just be Jeffrey sometimes. On an appetizer. I will be preparing what's known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. <laughs> we will need a piece of cardboard. A glass and some milk. Bruh. To start, we poured the milk into the glass. Bro, I feel like I'm being hypnotized. We dip the cardboard into the Bro, milk. three messages. Also, I think you should get to the grocery store before it gets cold outside. Too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. Okay, on the way. Let's get out of here. I want to watch that stupid show. I'm put the flashlight right there. Let's go get this cash. And head to the store. What is that noise? Okay. Alright, there it is. Let's get out of here. Oh. Wait. Stop. Didn't even hit anything. Okay. 9.22 p.m. It's getting late already. Okay. This must be it here on the left. Let's get off. Okay. So ranch. Gotta get a basket. Ranch. Strawberry jelly. Um cocoa spread. Milk and eggs. Could be here. Milk. Where are the eggs? Oh, freaking weird ass lady. Eggs. Bio eggs. Garden peas and honey. Evelyn is texting me. What are you doing? Grocery shopping, boy. Can't talk right now. Just want my freaking garden peas. Where, where are those? Peas, peas, peas. What else do we need? Rice, Uncle Tony's. Yes, please. My gosh. Thanks for shopping at Nuts. You have a good one. to pee again and I was starting to feel a little hungry around this time. Okay, my friend, let's go take a piss. It's 
pick up the flashlight? Throw it there. Thought I'd get some schoolwork done now. Alrighty. So far, the game is not at all scary. It's just kind of like we're just doing stuff. Doesn't even matter. I really just had to pee for- oh my gosh. Alright, luckily there's a bathroom up here. And we missed. Now we're back. Closes door, privacy reasons. Let's put that there. Oh my god, Andy Reynolds, five messages. Dude, you said you're at Carson's, right? You need to see this. Search up Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. Roy Carson. I spelled divorce. Divor divorce. Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex-wife. That's Roy Carson. Sources say, oh no. I was literally about to say, so sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door to confront him. Okay, so someone's at the door. Who the hell is it? Uh oh. Let's go fight him. Oh, I should take my flashlight. Never mind. Who is it? Your jewelry for your one medium size from Pizza Depot, sir. I didn't order any pizza. Your one medium size pepperoni pizza, sir. Yeah, let's open it. There you are. Here, take. Okay. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside until the rain is over? This is not my house. I understand you can just say no. Alright, bro, no. So, anytime somebody rings a doorbell to offer you pizza, always answer. So this guy obviously likes to eat. Watching TV. Pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. What the hell? Did I hear those noises? Bro, is this guy about to eat the whole pizza? Evelyn Cooper, hope everything's okay. Evelyn, Jack. everything is... Whoa, what? Are you doing your work? You'll have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. If you tell me what the radius of two squared is, I'll think about sparing you. What? My name is Jack Burnett. Oh my I god. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. He makes me solve math work until my head hurts. I can't escape. Can I use the bathroom? No. More math. What? Someone's at the door again? Bro, let me finish my pizza. Just put that right there. I knew I heard a knock at the door. What is it? Okay, well, I think we gotta finish our pizza. What the? Oh my gosh! Come on down! Alright, turn that off. Is anyone there? Okay, well. Let's check security. 
Oh, do you see that? It's going around back. Of it, I know what to make of it. Boom! Take those. It's obviously a super fan. Okay, so what now? Unknown sender. How are you? What did you have for dinner? I assumed it was a wrong number. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. Besides, I had a lot of work to catch up on. Let's go ahead and do some work. 1.36 AM. While I was in the middle of my work school, my schoolwork, the power went off. Unknown sender, five messages. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You are being very immature right now. Fine. If we're gonna be like that, I don't need need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Okay, so my dog is going off. Where is he? What the heck? What are you- what are you barking at, boy? What? Siki was acting very weird. Is this it? We turned the power back on. Okay, so there we, we did it. Is boy still screaming? I could tell that someone had cut the power off from outside. So this door is closed. I left it open. Maybe someone's in here. You're in here! Maybe not. Unknown sender. Dad, we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. I have to get back to my schoolwork till for Monday. Is this where we get scared? Okay, okay. To get back to my schoolwork. Okay. I had a strange feeling about the situation. Um, it might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink it. Let's uh, let's check the cameras again. Uh oh. Why is this place trashed? This is where the fun begins. Ooh. Okay, let's go to the studio room. Crap! Everything is trashed. What the heck happened here? Do more schoolwork? Your stuff. Oh, what the heck? I heard something downstairs. Oh, am I just never gonna finish my homework?
Oh gosh. What is it? What is it? The heck? Oh! What the f Oh my gosh! Alright, so this time... <clears throat> instead of getting stabbed miserably... We are gonna run this... So, strategy. Oh my god, run! Okay, okay. Dude, I swear to god, if she kills me, I'm... Bro, what do I do? No, I think what we could do is just... Look at it through here. I could swear in my life I didn't turn that oven on. So I have no idea why. I'm just being killed. Oh my god, where is she? Luckily it made me very uncomfortable knowing he was inside the house. What? I had to confront him. I didn't have his contact. I could only ask Andy. Andy, can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing. He's messing with what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Question mark? Dude, he's at my place right now. We were gonna go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. I was aware I have a tendency of being overly paranoid. The only logical thing I could think of at the time was to keep an eye on the security monitor. Yes, please. Let's let's just chill in here. Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops, but at the time. I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that the idea never even entered my head. Alright, let's just keep an eye out. Someone is here. That back door is open. If I have to go back into this basement, holy crap! I felt my heart skip a beat. I froze and kept staring at the screen in pure horror. She's got a knife. Oh shit. Oh. Sh oh shit. Bro, she's coming. What the hell is she doing? Is she gonna kill me? She's checking every door. Uh-oh. What do I do? She was right outside the door to the room I was in. I thought my heart would pound right out of my chest. Noah. Are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. How did you get in here? I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. This is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. We deserve a second chance. 
You know, I could turn you into the police for this. Do it and I will fucking kill both of you. <sighs> Bro, what do I do? What do I do? Call police. If I can't have you, no one else should. Security, security, security. No one. Oh my god. Oh my god! Get out of here! Oh my gosh. So, this is the strategy. Noah, are you in there? I really missed you. Whatever is happening between us, we can work it out together. How did you get here? I've always been nothing but nice to you, but you always treated me like shit. You need help. That's exactly why, but I love you. You need to leave right now. Do I know? Fucking kill you, bro. So now we have to go? Let's close that. And we stay in here. Strategy. can't have you now. No one else should. It's a bitch. Oh god. Noah. It's not, let's not, uh, make too much noise. She was out of my sight in that Noah. moment I had to make a run for it. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Run, 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 run. I left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. Though by the time they arrived, she had already left the house. But I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me, but I found her cute, so we started dating. However, two months into our relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day I had enough and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night, but of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything, from the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. And uh, there you go, guys. Fears to Fathom, Carson House. That was a pretty good story. I like that one. I'm really excited for episode two. And... Yeah. Yeah, this was, this was a good one. Alright, guys. Go ahead and give that video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. My next goal is 10k subscribers. Um, I love making videos for you guys. This has been a really fun journey. And anyways, see you guys on the next one.